I've decided to do a watercolour sketch of the mill from a very similar position and I've already drawn it in pencil. The clouds are very, very thin. There's one or two about, not a lot, but I do want to suggest that they're there, so I'm just leaving little breaks in the watercolour as I paint down. And then, in fact, while it's there, just add a little bit of yellow ochre in these through here. And then a bit more crimson as we go down nearer the horizon. Now we've got trees here, so I'm not covering it completely, just blobbing it about because the trees are going to go over that colour. I'm mixing some colour, this lovely warm red brick colour for the walls of the mill house and I want it bright but it does go a little sort of dirty in places but the important thing especially where the Sun is I just want to get that, that lovely warm color now I've just added a little bit of blue into this there I mix oh, on down this side this will be painted over again because it's shadow it's the shadow side this incidentally was cadmium red with yellow ochre and I mustn't go over the window frames. Do it quite freely, don't. This, this isn't something where you're worrying about it. Just, just let, don't try and keep exactly to the edges. That's the edges of, of the buildings and the shapes. Be reasonably free and confident with it. I must paint in the chimney pots. Now, again, I'm painting over the shadow side with the same color because I'll put a shadow colour over the top. And the last one. Now I want to continue with this, this wall, the wall that runs right in front. And although it was brick at some time, there, there's been some, it looks like whitewash over it. Uh, but anyway, I'll, I'll continue it and remember that now you see there we go I went straight into the red and this over here isn't red It's a sort of bluey White color in fact, it's quite a bit of yellow ochre in that so I just added a little bit of yellow ochre to it And there's a bit that just comes over there sort of cement and now this is I'm going to paint all under here it's very light as this and of course it will be dark when I paint it over because it's in shadow but that will give me a start to the to the tone when I start now that was a smudge bit I did earlier so it doesn't mean a thing you're going to paint straight over that with this whitey color there's a bit of brick that just a little bit of brick that shows at the top like that so I'll just put that in and then continue down to the bottom here now we're into greenery. Now remember when I put this in we're just going up there following following the way that the trees it hardly shows that tree but it's there and it's got to go in. Some of it comes down to down to the bottom and it runs across right across it. In fact it goes further than I thought. This turns into ivy. And this runs all the way up to that window. Now I'm, I'm following these sort of shapes that the ivy is going with my brush and it does get darker around here but I shall leave that until later now into the wall again with my wall colour now this we've got bricks here now in this section oh and this is important I just want to just put a few bricks that little shapes that could be the ends of bricks at the top here and then break them along the bottom just gives that little bit of character to it I'm running the bricks behind that green and they go across it then it goes into this white in fact this was white up there but I'm quite happy at the moment it being red because I get the shape of those bricks now I'm going into brick shape here if you like 
they're just suggested bricks just tapering off because they go into the white again and it does just give a suggestion that these are bricks and it's a brick wall there's some trees in the distance now I'm going to do them a little blue because I want them to recede although looking at them they're quite green here right just want them to recede into the distance more so I've cooled them off and then there's these there's the greener trees the more local trees coming into view around here and that there's one that really sort of covers I want a bit more yellow in that this one really comes over all this area, dances all over and again I'm letting the, the brush take the leaves or the sajeta, they're not, they can't be individual leaves, these, these are groups of leaves and I'm letting the brush take the shape, there's quite a bit of red in the tree up here and that's coming over in this direction, sort of dotting all over down here now, I'm going to let that dry, and then I'm going to sit back, have a look at it, I think I'll come back and put some shadow work in. It will give three dimensions to it and, and keep me in, into the painting. I'm, I, I feel as though it's a bit flat at the moment. The shadow has helped the side wall, and now I'll work under the eaves along here. And then it comes down here with trees, bits of trees goes at an angle, I don't know why it goes at an angle, but it goes through there like that. Um, and then all of this side is in shadow. All under here. And then there's just shadows from trees on here. And that little bit back there and it goes very dark. I don't know what's there, but it just goes very dark to give the end of the building to show that end shape. Then into the trees here. Now I'm going to just put in the windows with my number six brush. Up to now I've been using a number 10 sable and this is a number six. And when I say the windows, I'm talking about these up here that I'd, I'd missed. So, we just want to just put some literal, literally dark lines there, brush strokes. Now, while I've got this on the brush, this dark colour, I'm going to add more into some of these windows. That's better. That's giving them a bit more life. Now notice I'm not covering them exactly and perhaps a little suggestion of the windowsill underneath. Well this is a bit we all dread, it's putting in the water. The trouble is, on a watercolour like this, you've, you've only really got one chance to put it in and, and get it right. You can work over it, but it's nice to be able to get it the first time, so we always sort of worry about this. Well, keep your fingers crossed and let's have a go. Now, that is the reflection of the wall. And what, that's very dark through there. I'll have to go through this over this bit again, this dark area in here, which is the, the tunnel. And it goes dark, continues going dark. It's a sort of greeny, dark colour here. There's movement on the water all the time. Now this is where I'm changing colour. And first of all, there's just that little bit of light a bit there. I've just had to quickly change the colour there. But this is the, the, wa the wall itself of the, of the house. Although there's a bit of green 
obviously coming from here so I'm going to put that in. Let it all run, the idea of this is to do it while it's wet. Get some more green, it's darker through there. Just keep the brush moving, whatever happens, because there's no way, there's one or two windows showing through there. It's a bit frames of windows. A little bit redder through there. It's just got a bit brighter down here. Oops, a hair on the brush. Don't worry about that. Keep going. It's all starting to blob. It's going to gather nicely at the moment. And all the strokes are horizontal. The brush strokes, because that's the way the water is running. Now it's much darker down here because we've got the the side of the house in shadow and we've got it seems to be more green over here just coming through and there's green over here believe me while you're doing this you are holding your breath because you do want to try and get it the first time now I want to get some blue sky, there's little bits of blue sky coming in here where the reflection is finished. By the way, there's nothing you can do if anybody comes up and talks to you while you're doing this when you're outside. Once you start, you must keep going. You can't stop while you're doing this. I'm leaving these sort of lovely highlights here of the waves well they're not waves but the ripples now I want to get rid of that so I'm going back onto it after getting some of the water out of the brush just take one or two of these away as you see them done a couple of things to finish the painting um, this life belt round here I just added a couple of red bits there to make it look more like a life belt I put a darker reflection uh, under the tunnel there and I, th I think I'm happy with that there's I don't need to do any more and I've really enjoyed painting Flatford Mill and to think I've been sitting where Constable used to do it it's really given me a thrill this afternoon <laughs>